Hi, I'm George Lind. I've made a living playing poker for the last 13 years and I specialize in online sit goes. Today we'll go over the top five mistakes I see beginners making every day. Number five, playing too many hands in the early stages. Early in the tournaments you definitely don't want to be three betting light hardly ever just because it's not worth it, especially at the lower stakes because you just don't want to mix it up with a marginal hand and, and get into a coin flip situation when you're just going to have so much better opportunities with premium hands. And even if you don't, you still have your stack later in the tournament where you can leverage that. It's just not worth the risk. Number four, playing too passively as the short stack. Yeah, a lot of times as the short stack, you want to take some risk because you're just never going to find that good of a spot sometimes. And if you don't, you're just going to blind out of the tournament. Once you get to about eight or 10 big blinds, you want to start either shoving or folding always instead of limping or trying to raise and fold. So a lot of times you have to take what is a very marginal spot just to avoid future marginal spots. Number three, taking unnecessary risks as the medium stack. When you're the medium stack, your goal is to try to bust the short stacks and not to get into a war with the big stack because as the second biggest stack, you have a lot of equity in the tournament still and to get busted by the big stack is, is a huge hit and you don't gain nearly enough if you win a hand against him for it to be worth it for you. If you can bust one of the short stacks, then it helps your equity a lot. And really your goal should be to have the other two short stacks get into a fight with each other, so then you get into the money. As the second biggest stack, you need to play very carefully because the equity you lose by busting is just so big compared to the equity you gain by doubling through against the big stack. Number two, not putting enough pressure on your opponents as the big stack. Your goal as the big stack is to leverage your stack and shove into the other stacks with a lot of hands because they cannot call with very many hands. So you can grow your stack without too much risk. And inversely, when they shove into you, a lot of times you want to not call too wide because you, you don't want to risk losing the big stack so that you lose your leverage on the other stacks on a future hand. There's so many times you'll be at a three or four handed bubble situation on a sit and go and nobody has a good hand. So basically whoever happens to shove in that spot is going to win the hand. So a lot of times those are the chips you want to win because they can grow your stack and the, the bigger your stack is as the big stack, the more leverage you can exert on the other players. And number one, playing stakes that you can't beat. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty big problem in, in signals and in poker in general. I, I would recommend being able to absolutely crush the stake you're at before even trying the next one. It's, it's really important to know which stakes you can beat and be cognizant of what your skill level is instead of moving up to the higher stake. Don't, don't let your ego get in the way of your decisions. Play at a stake that you can beat.